Hey world, coming to you with a quick, short, but very useful video called how to make your THC oil cartridge last longer. So if you're like me, you do not have unlimited resources and you need to make these THC cartridges. I have one right here. It's half full. This is actually a King Louis strain. 0.5 milligram cartridge, half a gram, and it's by Vape God. I happen to live in a state where, a non-legal THC state, so had to get this in a special way, not from a store, or dispensary, or shipped to me, because I'm not a patient. Well, I am a patient, but I'm not, a, you know, on paper, not a patient. <laughs> so anyway, so I am one of those people that spends a high premium to get this, as well as the fact that it's just, I can't just go to any store and get it. I have to know the right people and the right times and et cetera, et cetera. So I have to make it last for as long as possible. I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. I pay about $40 for a half milligram cartridge and that's a lot for me. So I need to make it last. So here's a few quick tips. Number one, do not leave in a hot car. You've got to keep it in a cool, dry place. Number one, it will leak from the bottom. And number two, it will evaporate out the top if it's in a hot car. I had that happen to me once. I had a cartridge and came back. I was at Six Flags and I came back and the whole thing was gone. So it was super upsetting. So keep it in a cool, dry place. Number two, try to always keep it upright. You know, once it turns over and the oil goes all the way to the tip, you waste some because some gets stuck up there when it comes back down. Uh, another tip that I have is also make sure it's always turned off when you're not using it. So this one's on. You're gonna turn it off, make sure it's off by pressing your battery five times so that you don't inadvertently click it and vape and waste oil. And then here's a couple of techniques to use while you're actually hitting the pen. So if you're wanting to make it last longer, here's my personal tips. Um, make each hit count. So when you take a hit, you know, press it, vape it. I do a mouth to lung hit or I can do a straight to lung hit, either one. But I make sure that I hold it deep down in my lungs for a long time. I don't release it really quickly. And I make sure that the THC absorbs into my lungs. So that way each hit is like, it's kind of like when you're, you know, you're at the end of a blunt, you're at the end of a roach and you, you hold it. Cause you know, it ain't much more left. That's how I treat these cartridges. So I'll show you what I mean. really hold it for as long as I can. I can taste the flavor coming out. As I exhale, you can see a little bit of the vapor. It's vapor. It's not smoke. It's vapor. This is a vaporizer. This is an atomizer or a vape cartridge. So anyway, that's one trick. Hold your pulls for a long time. Number two, you don't really use it all the time. It's not like your primary source of cannabis. Like I still use flour with it. So subsidize your flower use, smoking with your vaping, with your oil vaping use. So, you know, maybe I'll like, you know, smoke flower and then use the pen as like a nightcap. Or maybe I'll, here's one trick I definitely use. In the mornings, I never consume flour. I always wake up and do the vape. For those of you that have jobs early in the mornings, this is one trick I use is I wake up and I take a hit first thing. Before I hop in the shower, before I brush my teeth, before I make my breakfast, my lunch, anything, coffee, this is the first thing I do. That way you medicate first thing in the morning and the medicine has a chance to take effect while you're going throughout your morning routine. So in the morning, you don't have to roll, light, or put this out. You just, you know, pretty much pick it up and vape and that saves you time. It also saves how much you spend on flour. Um, and then I had one other tip. My last tip is, um, for making it last a really long time is be aware of the temperature that you're vaping at. So this kind pen, which I love, has three temperature settings. You press it three times and it blinks blue. That's the medium heat setting. You hit it another three times and it blinks red. That's the highest heat setting. 
So you've got to see the viscosity, the thickness of the oil that you're vaping, and then decide how hot you need it. This one, it doesn't need to be at the hottest. It can be at the lowest heat setting, which is green, and I can hit it and still get a good... Still get a good rip off it. If it was on the highest setting, I would get more vapor. I would pull more, but I would also be vaping more and wasting more. So if you're a person that keeps it on a high setting or you don't have an adjustable setting and you're wondering why is my vape oil going down so quickly, I'm not even hitting that much, it's probably on too high of a setting, take it down where well, you still get the effects without over vaporizing your oil. Man, I love these things. All right, well, those are my tips for saving um, and making your oil last a really long time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. We'll be coming out with more as I get more cartridges and more little toys. Um, follow along. All right, guys. Peace till next time.